What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign, Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So uh, today in Atlanta Falcons news, the Atlanta Falcons have drafted in the fifth round uh, J.D. Bertrand, a linebacker out of the University of Notre Dame. And this actually is my favorite pick of this Atlanta Falcons draft class. Uh, J.D. Bertrand wasn't a guy that I was familiar with. I didn't cover him uh, prior to the draft. But after going in and doing a little bit of research on this guy, going and looking at his highlights and some of his film, this guy could be special. Um, he goes about 6'1", 235 pounds to 240 pounds. Um, but as I mentioned, he was one of those guys at Notre Dame uh, that was the captain of their defense, a captain on that team. Um, and he was one of those guys that gives me Luke Keekley vibes. Uh, he's been compared to Luke Keekley. He is one of those guys that I think could turn out to be a special linebacker. And really, when you look at his tape, one thing that I love about his game is he plays similar to the linebackers that are currently on our roster. He's one of those guys that's a downhill linebacker, uh, similar to what we've seen with Caden Ellis last year and Nate Landman. As I mentioned last year, those guys were like Tasmanian Devils. And we're adding another Tasmanian Devil to this team and J.D. Uh, Bertrand. If you go look at his highlights, he's all over the field, making plays in the backfield. A guy that has great instincts, and I think that's the reason why he's being compared to Luke Keekley is because he's a guy that, from the neck up, is one of the smarter linebackers in this draft class. But he is one of those guys that I think could possibly be a starting linebacker, inside linebacker for this Atlanta Falcons team. Um, he's that good. Just looking at what he did at Notre Dame, they used him a lot as far as blitzing and things of that nature. And based off of how the Atlanta Falcons uh, coaching staff uh, and this front office, how they uh, drafted this roster and built out this roster, I really expect our linebackers to be used a lot as edge rushers on this team or outside linebackers. If you go look at J.D. Bertrand, the main thing that stood out to me looking at his highlights was he's one of those guys that they used at Notre Dame to get after the passer. Um, you go look at, um, you know, how they used him at Notre Dame. He was mainly used as a blitzer. And he's one of those guys that's relentless, um, hard to block. You see uh, running backs trying to block him, and he's just knifing through, getting tackles for loss, uh, creating havoc, making a lot of tackles, punching the football out. And when I looked at, you know, his tape and his highlights and things of that nature, he reminds me of Nate Lamb and uh, and. Uh, Kaden Ellis, those two guys that we had last year that were all over the field making tackles. I could easily see him being one of those guys that could take, you know, the spot of a Nate Lambin or Kaden Ellis, meaning he could be a guy that they put at that inside linebacker position when it's all said and done over the years and allow Kaden Ellis to be one of those guys that rushes the passer as an outside linebacker. Because we know right now with this Atlanta Falcons team, based off of how they've built this roster and looking at um, all of these big body guys that they brought in, the Brandlin Dorlises, uh, the kid that they drafted out of Georgia in the sixth round, um, and all of the guys that we have on this team, Onyemata, Grady Jarrett, we have a lot of guys on this team that's built to stop the run, and we drafted a lot of big body guys that can play multiple positions on the defensive line, uh, guys like Zach Harrison that's currently on the roster. Um, you know, the guys that we currently have on this roster – are not super athletic as far as being super fast or anything like that as far as the guys that we drafted. But they drafted a lot of big body defensive linemen, guys that have long arms, guys that are really strong and are able to hold the point and able to penetrate and make you know plays in the backfield in the run game. But I really feel like the guys that are going to be the stars – um, you know, and that's going to make a lot of tackles for loss and things of that nature is going to be these linebackers. And J.D. Uh, Bertrand is just one of those guys. When I looked at his highlights, I think this dude could turn into a superstar uh, just based off of his IQ, uh, based off of he doesn't hesitate. When I talk about linebacker play, you have to be able to uh, predict 
or have those instincts to know like where the football is going. And this guy just has a nose for the football. And I think that was one of the biggest things last year. When you look at a, a guy, Nate Lambin, that had a big year for Atlanta Falcons after Troy Anderson went down uh, with that pectoral injury, I really feel like uh, the number one uh, quality that made Nate Lambin a great player was his um, ability to have a nose for the football, his his football instincts of knowing who has the football, his ability not to hesitate, but usually guessing right on, you know, plays where guys are, you know, running play action, where guys are running these RPO reads. If you go look at uh, J.D. Uh, Bertrand's, like his highlights and stuff like that, a lot of the times when teams were running those RPOs, he was the guy in the backfield making plays on both the quarterback and the running back. And usually he guessed right on who had the football just off of his relentlessness, his ability to, you know, read and react. And I really feel like that he's going to be a great NFL player just based off of his ability not to hesitate and his understanding of the football game. So I really think that J.D. Bertrand and all of these linebackers that we have, I like what this Atlanta Falcons team did. Um, you know, in this draft and based off of what we did in the draft, I really feel like these linebackers are going to have a chance to get sacks and things of that nature. They're going to be able to wreak havoc. And between those four guys that we have, J.D. Bertrand, uh, Troy Anderson, um, Nate Lamon, and now Troy Anderson coming back, I really feel like those guys are going to add to the pass rush. So as much as I was concerned um, about us not having enough pass rushers as far as um, AK, you know, Arnold Epicati being on this roster, but us losing guys like Calais Campbell, us losing guys like Bud Dupree. Um, I was really excited about these linebackers and what they may be able to do. And I think J.D. Bertrand, he's just going to be another one of those guys where you can put him all over the field to make plays as far as him being able to rush the passer, his ability to read and react and make plays. Um, in the backfield, in the running game, and pressuring the quarterback, but also his ability to also drop in coverage at times and make plays on the football. So with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on J.D. Bertrand. I definitely think that he's one of those guys that could uh, turn out to be a steal in the draft because he was taken in the fifth round. I really think just looking at his tape, man, this dude jumps off the tape. And usually when I watch guys you know, and they leap off the tape the way that he did and leap off the, you know, off the screen. I definitely think that he's one of those guys that could turn out to be a real special player. But with that being said, this has been your boy, Ju. If you enjoy my content, please hit that uh, subscribe button for your boy. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and beyond. With that being said, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.